Suffolk County Police Impound Auction. Looks like I'm in the right place. Got a list of car. What the? Crow. You know what? I better go check in. What the heck? This place is freaky. I don't know if it's gonna work out. No photos prohibited. Ooh, I don't wanna go to this door. Public 8 to 1 just made it. Welcome to Impound. How can I help you? Hey, um, I saw you have a police auction coming up. I was wondering if I could check out the auction cars. Um, yeah, the auction's coming up uh, Saturday, March 9th. Uh, you are a little early for previews, though. Um, our official preview dates are Thursday, March 7th, and Friday, March 8th. All right, so um, I uh, can't go now. I was... I was Wonder if I could maybe take a couple videos or uh, or pictures of it. I'm, I was gonna try to put it on the YouTube channel on Project Dan H with the YouTube channel Project Dan H, and I, I, I do Jeep stuff. If you want, you can check out the videos. I'm legit. I'm, I just want to see. There's a couple of Grand Cherokees. So. Unfortunately, uh, photography and videoing is strictly prohibited back there uh, on, on county property. But um, you know, if, 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 you know what? Just hold on. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go see if we can work with something. All right, Pre appreciate it. Thanks. All right, guys, got special authorization from an impound supervisor to have, uh, what do you call it, I guess, uh, supervised, supervised entry into a restricted zone. I got Officer Nilsson here. He's kind enough to take time out of his lunch break. Let me see some of these vehicles. I'm really excited because there's some WJs on that list. And obviously, you guys know, I just rebuilt the WJ. So uh, here we go. Let's check out these cars. <laughs> All right, here we go. A1. No way. No way. This first vehicle is this a SRT? What? It is. The very first vehicle is an SRT. Officer, do you know if this is a real SRT or a? Clone. 100% a true SRT. Check it out. Look at that. We got a real SRT. That's pretty cool. A number one. Next to it, we have a Porsche. Boo! I want the Jeeps. <laughs> uh, Porsche, no start. Check it out. Pretty cool first row. Mercedes, Infiniti, a Volkswagen. It's got the red stripe. I wonder if that's a GTI. Yep, GTI. Not a Volkswagen fan, but look at that. A6, BMW, 7, another Volkswagen. We've got a Mazda, a Mazdarati. I got a bright, bright red Challenger. No, Charger. That's a Charger. It's an old school Charger. I like those better than the newer ones. Nissan, Cadillac, Nissan. Look at this stuff. All right. Going on. Big truck. We've got some big trucks here. Another BMW, Ford. Another Jeep. Look at this. Going right down the row. Cool. Got a Nissan X there. I remember these things. These things have those little bubbles. I'm being watched like a hawk. <laughs> cool. There it is. There's that little bubble. It's the first aid kit, I think, right there and there. On the next row, A21. Oh, this is a old BMW X3. Another BMW. Hyundai. This is a Honda Civic. Airplanes, 
Oh, look at this. Another SRT. This kind of looks like it's fake. I don't know. Maybe it's just badging. It's got like stick on hood scoops. Can I touch it? I'm sorry. Yeah. I touched it. <laughs> oh, look at that. 392 Hemi. All right, well, that explains the color discrepancy. It was uh, white. Now it's like, I don't know, weird. Plasti dip. Plasti dip. But matching badges, 392 Hemi. If anything, it could be a good uh, engine parts car. I don't know. Ooh. That's a nice hit right there. <laughs> what do you think happened to this vehicle? I'm not at liberty to discuss what happened to these vehicles before the auction. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna keep moving. <laughs> uh, we got, what is this? Audi, another Honda, another Hyundai, Nissan. Look at this stuff. It's pretty cool stuff. Some of it looks good, but then when you get a little closer, we got a little bit of damage, but I guess, I'm guessing it's like as is, right? You don't, you know, there's no guarantees or refunds. I can't guarantee that any of them run or drive, but uh, everything purchased is as is condition, no refund. Okay, all right, as is. So I guess you got to know your stuff before you, uh, before you get into it. You got to uh, you know what you're getting into. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. I remember when these came out these were the coolest things i wanted a 03 04 terminator style mustang so bad those are just amazing machines it's an amazing machine what is this oh some mercedes look at that little damage that'll buff out not too bad another audi this is one of our newer vehicles newer audi vehicle quattro. quattro what does quattro stand for four four <laughs> that's cool I think I'm gonna uh, let's walk back this way the back row kind of looks looks a little crappier but uh, there's still some potential Ford Crown Vic kind of a busted little Explorer Expedition um, uh, what is that Mercury look at that ain't no Mercs anymore Kia a Mushtin Nissan um, and I don't know, is this a Toyota? RAV4? Yeah, it's a Toyota. Yep. Toyota with a boo-boo. GMC. Chevy. This is basically, it looks like it's going in the order of the list that I had. Just uh, Dan, this is the Jeep Row. <laughs> the Jeep Row. Thank you. Appreciate. This is what I. This is what I came to see. Oh, I got some WJs. These all look like Laredo 4.0s. Um, can I open them up? Can I go inside and check it out? Absolutely. All right. A little auction preview. Yeah. Typical WJ stuff. I guess. Uh, <laughs> Jeep seats. Everybody wants Jeep seats. Oh, with spilt milk. Don't cry. It's rot. <laughs> Another WJ. I could fix this in a weekend. This one's got seat covers. Oop. Yeah, well, maybe two weekends. <laughs> Dub J's. Three Jeep WJ's in a row. This one was trail rated, so it's got super, super sealed connectors, waterproofing for the trail from the factory. I think 04 was the first year they did trail rated badge looks kind of flat the newer ones were like made of aluminum and stick out a little more that's pretty cool another Jeep WK's twin WK's okay. 
actually, you know what? Chrome wheels, chrome trim. This one looks like it could be a Hemi or something. I'm gonna pop the, the hood if, if you don't mind. Cool. It's got a little water leak. Look at that. What's that, officer? 4.7 V8, okay. Yes, I know it had a little upsy, upsy package. Not your regular 3.7. Sweet. Let's see what this baby's got. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, 4x4 four four Limited. <laughs> this is kind of like my Commander. Only the commander has the third row. Basically the same frame and everything else. Uh, my commander has that Quadra Drive 2 transfer case. So um, I really could climb over anything. But it's pretty cool. These things can get a second chance at life. If you guys want to bid on them at the police auction. There we go. Here's, uh, here's some cool stuff. Some Wranglers. I'm not a Wrangler guy, but I think they're badass anyway. I don't know. This could be a pretty cool parts car. Or maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you could fix it. Oh, uh, here's what I was talking about. That trail rated badge. They're bigger, thicker. Oh, uh, hey, Sahara Unlimited. Somebody should restore this thing. Now, this Jeep is cool. Whoever this is the pretty cool. Owner was they they obviously liked their Jeeps and did their own work too with the lift kit and bigger tires and oh yeah fender flares. Somebody put some wrench time in it. Unfortunately, man, time time rusts everything up here. But another trail rated. Yeah, look at that trail rated Wrangler. I I feel like if you have a Wrangler and it's not trail trail rated, then uh, you got a dud. Open up this Wrangler. Not too bad. Not too bad inside. There we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. Whoa. Hey. What is this over here? This caught my eye. Look at this bumper. This looks like an SRT8. <laughs> I think it is. It doesn't have the factory wheels, but this is, this is an eight. Oh man, I love this vehicle. This is one of my favorite Jeeps. Check it out. These SRT8 Jeeps are what sold me on the Jeep brand. They kept me from getting a, a pickup truck or, or something stupid like that. Who would want a pickup truck? I, I always loved Jeeps and I wanted a Jeep so bad with an SRT8. So I just, uh, I, I held on to my Cherokees in the hopes of one day maybe trading it in for a nice Hemi Jeep. It took a little while, but, uh, but I finally got a Jeep with Hemi in it. It's not an SRT8, I just have the Commander, but this is so cool. Officer Nielsen, do you happen to have the keys for this vehicle? Is there any way we can start it up? I can do a little digging. I can look around and see if I can get the keys for you. All right. Oh, why do you want the keys? I want to auction? <laughs> Buy it at Just auction? Just to know if it has a key. <laughs> well, does it have keys? Do any of these cars have keys? Well, uh, it, It's a good mix. I see notes that says keys there, so... Um, Maybe I can do you one better with the keys. All right. You know, stay tuned. All right, cool. Gotta get some keys. Fingers crossed. All right. Officer Nilsson is gonna see if he can find the keys. If he even has it for that uh, that Grand Cherokee, that'd be really cool. Um, he said, "Don't mess around because this place is all cameraed up. And if I mess around, I'm out of here." So uh, we're just gonna check out these remaining cars real quick. Good. Oh, I think we got him. This truck's back there, but. Let's go check out this Jeep. You got him. Can you do one of those cool things where I'm like, throw me the keys. Did you throw me the keys? <laughs> yeah.
Yes. Here we go. Let's do this. Hey, it's uh, it's cold out. Probably won't start. <laughs> I'm willing to try. Oh baby. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. SRT8. 203,000 miles. Starts right up. Cool interior. Wow. Got a busted mirror. <laughs> Got uh, some rips in the seats. Well, you know what? Almost 20 years old. This is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. Kind of feels like the Commander, but kind of doesn't. It's basically the same, but not really. Same shifter pattern and everything. That's cool. All right, let's walk around this baby. Here it is, guys. Started right up. <laughs> 2006 SRT8. Grand Cherokee. I love this vehicle. This vehicle was actually the reason why I wanted a Commander. Look at that right there. That's awesome. So legend has it, I was about to finish college. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in aeronautics and I went to a Jeep dealership to check out the new SRT8s. What I saw in the dealership was something that blew my mind. A Hemi and a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. Those uh, true tailpipes in the center. Give it away. Dead giveaway. That's a dead giveaway. So uh, I went to the dealership to check out this thing out. Once I saw the price, I knew I couldn't afford it. Not with my uh, new starting salary about to come. But I was leaving the dealership. And there I saw a gorgeous blue Jeep Commander. I never saw those before. First introduced in 06. I saw one on the lot. It had chrome rims and it had those beautiful saddle brown seats. That's when I fell in love with the Jeep Commander. So I drove home with my Cherokee, which ended up being Beach Jeep. Yeah, it was Beach Jeep. And uh, I still didn't get a Grand Cherokee or a Commander till many, 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 many years later. Let's see if we can pop this hood. There we go, baby. We got a 6.1 liter Hemi. Nice. Nice, sweet purr. Looking good. That was awesome. <laughs> I love that Jeep. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably try to bid on it, but um, do you know how much I usually go for? Like, how does this work? You just listen. Everything you've seen in that video so far starts for five hundred dollars cash on hand. Five hundred dollars, right? On the flyer, minimum bid, and then I guess it just goes up from there. And yeah, all right. Um, what else? Uh, do you need any special? Like ID to register it or anybody can yeah when you come down on those early preview days all you need is a valid photo ID okay photo ID and when I pay for them you said cash only cash only how how long do I have to pay can I like pay within a week or wait till payday or I pay the day of and I see there's a uh, storage fees if I don't pick it up right away I... daily storage at $30 a day how long does it take for you guys to deliver it deliver <laughs> no, we don't deliver. No, I got, no, I got to make my own arrangements. Make your own arrangements. Tow right. it. Get it out of here. Um, some of these things have some damage on them. There's, there's a, a 907. What's a 907? Does that mean it's smashed up or something? Not only that it's smashed up, but it does have a salvage title. Salvage the state title. Of New York. Yep. On the list, I saw a couple vehicles that had um, the asterisk for a salvage title, but they looked like... They were fine. Does that mean they were smashed at one point and someone fixed them? Or More than likely, yes. At Sorry. one point, it did have a salvage title. The previous owner did their due diligence and fixed it, okay. to make it drivable, and for one reason or another, it got impounded again. So uh, it may look nice, okay. um, but it may have gotten you know fixed and uh, rebuilt. Rebuilt. Title. Okay. All right. Well, I guess uh, since it says as is, 
all sales are final, it's up to the buyer to do their own research. You are able to do a Carfax uh, on your own and run it through New York State. Uh, all the VINs are provided, so it is, it's really up to you to do your own research on it. All right, my last question, if I had the money to buy this beautiful brand new SRT8, uh, what happens if I find out like there's a lien on it and the bank actually owns it? Is that, am I like on the hook? Should I? You know, can I get a guarantee from you saying it won't get repoed? No, I cannot give you a guarantee. Uh, if the vehicle is in the auction at by this point, everybody involved in that vehicle, from insurance to the owner to the lien holders in the banks, uh, have been properly notified twice over. It says there's a, a website to look it up. I guess I got to check the DMV and then yep, 100%. again, it's on, on my own. It's my own ass. All right, so if I'm buying a vehicle. I better make sure uh, it's not getting repoed on me or else uh, the wife will definitely kill me. Yep. All right. Um, you're out money and the car. Out money and the car. All right. Well, that's 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 the risk of auctions. So, all right. Officer Nelson, I really appreciate the info. Thank you for your time. Sorry. I'm take it easy. Sorry I took you from your meal. All right, guys. That's right. that's going to be it. Hey, Dad, you got those keys? <laughs> Give me them keys back. <laughs> Pulling sorry. a slick one. All right. You're out. You're kicked out. <laughs> Uh, thank you to the Suffolk County Police Department for giving me a special tour. Uh, come on down. Let's let's uh, let's buy some vehicles. This is pretty cool. Uh, actually, you know what? Don't come. Don't outbid me on those WJs. So, all right, guys, that's gonna be it. You know the deal. Remember, ooh, more forklifts. <laughs> we'll close this out over here. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace.